Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. This is a quick emergency video for uh, the new help desk folks out there that are so new to this, you know, immediate change that's happening all over the world and people are going remotely and also people who are running a small business or their business owners and they want to do uh, some remote stuff, then this will help them. Now, I'm assuming in this uh, video because a lot of people are using Office 365, so this is going to be targeted towards Office 365. Uh, I will also give you some other suggestions at the end of this video. So the scenario is like this: that you have uh, two members. One is the help desk task, uh, help desk team, and one um, the other one is just your uh, staff members, and they're working from home. And the help desk is also working from home because they're not at work now. So the scenario over here is like this: we this this machine right here is your home machine. This is your staff right here. I'm gonna call it S. And this guy right here, this is your help desk team right here. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your help desk have access to the admin portal. So I'm, I'm assuming at this point you know this. I'm not going to go into that. This is more about the remote uh, and getting the remote stuff working. So the first thing you need to make sure that you go to the admin of Office 365. So when you go to portal.office.com, you click on admin. You're going to come on to active users. And then you need to make sure that Teams uh, access is enabled in the apps uh, option. So let me show you that quickly. So basically, you're going to click on the user, the active user, and then you will basically click on licenses and apps. And if you have to create a new user, you have to, this is something that you're going to come across in the second step. And you're going to scroll down and you will make sure that Teams is enabled, checked right here. So once you do that and save changes, then you can go ahead and tell your user to go to teams.microsoft.com slash downloads or just Google Teams download. And it also comes with if they install the whole Office 365 suite from their Office 365 portal, then that should be downloaded as well. So if I download this right now, this is your user. You're just going to tell them, hey, go ahead and install Team. Uh, on your desktop or you can guide them um, step by step uh, I'm sure you guys know this by now so you basically have to guide them and just kind of like download it for the first time and then they will ask you okay what username and password should I use to log into this so if you are using uh, Active Directory and Office 365 uh, kind of like a hybrid mode then you will tell them to use your uh, network credentials like your email and password or they will have like a direct email address from Office 365 which you're going to say to use the full email uh, and password to to use it in the team so once they download it from that site you're just going to wait for it to installation is finished and then what I would like you to do as a help desk, then you can come down over here and open your team. As you can see, I already logged in to your team and I'm admin. So I logged into my team and there you go. So then I'm logged in like that. So I'm just going to remove this to make sure there's no confusion. So this is a user again. Now you're guiding a user. In this, in this case, the user password, we already have a user password. So we're going to go ahead and type the the email address over here, which is dmweclient1.onmicrosoft.com. And this user is right here. We're going to click on sign in. Once you sign in, you're going to be asked to do to put the password. We're going to go ahead and put the password in there. So now you can see that your help desk Ta your help desk team can be logged in from their home machine and your staff member can also be logged in from their home machine now there's a lot of things you can do now because first of all you have the ability to support your help desk staff just like how you were doing uh, internally i'm sure internally you had a system like sccm or some other type of system where you will call your help desk and say uh, your staff members and hey um do you need help and you will just use that system and just log in here you don't need to uh you don't need to basically install a whole system you can actually basically do that over here so i'm going to show you first thing that you can actually open the chat right here and then send it to that task uh that member so i'm just going to say hi and there you go so you see first thing is that your help desk from home and the staff member from home can work with each other 
if there is an issue they can work with each other or they can talk to each other if there's a some kind of screenshot that a that a staff member needs to send or you need to send something to the to them you can definitely help them out by just doing chat images and stuff like that the other thing you can do you can call if there's an issue going on you can just directly call but you got to tell them that you need to have some kind of speakers or you know like a microphone or something like that for them to uh you know take the call so you they will just get this message and they'll just accept the call and there you go the call is now connected and the other cool thing is that i'm sure a lot of people will be hey can i can i see your screen so you can even share your screen they can share their screen with you so if they're having some kind of issues then they can do share the screen and here you go it's like okay i want to i want to share my whole screen with you so if you do that there you go you can see the staff member screen just like how you were doing it in SCCM world just like internally on premises you can do that if you need to control their machine just like what we do in our real world job right we we say hey uh, actually let me take over I wanna do something here so that makes it easy for you to troubleshoot you can just say right here request for control they're gonna get this request and you're gonna click on allow and now you have a control over that machine you can see and I like that little arrow in there that says that I am logged into that machine I'm controlling it so that's pretty cool right there once you do this you can just after that finish this stop control and once you finish the call with the user you can uh, simply just uh, you know um, close it you can do it with multiple people which is this is amazing so because that makes it super easy after that of course you can do more things into team but like I say this is more to help people like I help the staff who are new and now they're struggling with like how do I really help these people out there you're calling them you're near telling them you need to connect to VPN and then I'm gonna remote into your machine and you know there's a lot a lot of things that can go wrong with VPN itself because VPN is not something that a lot of people even know how to install and there could be issues with upgrades there could be issues with Mac OS uh, you know some of the versions are not up to date some of the versions are so new with Mac OS that the VPN versions are not working so you got to use something that is extremely easy right now and this is a emergency situation so if you already have an office 365 and you have the access to to teams I think this is a lifesaver at this point I'm not promoting it or doing anything I'm not getting paid for it but it is what it is it's it's helping a lot of people out there right now as we speak the more I learn about it uh, of course we we already knew about this a uh, long time ago but uh, you know and right now it's like the time that I see that's being heavily used so we have to go with the what's going on right now with the real world skills and the real world skills are that this is being this is happening and this is doing this is basically this is easy fix for us right now because a lot of people are gonna have issues and have your whole team uh, you have your have your whole people uh, you know come to one staff team like or something like that if they have a general issues make a make a team group so everybody can send like a request in the team or something like that if you don't have a royal ticketing system if you don't have an email system then create something like this it'll make your life extremely easy and then you can come back over here you will have all of the data and then you can analyze and then you can bring a better solution at this point this is a good solution right now for you to track everything to know everything to help your staff members to help to know that okay your help this is also working pretty nicely from home no stress um, now the other options are you can use zoom and I already did that simple option like you know you just open a zoom uh, you know account which is free and you're just gonna tell the users to join the zoom meeting and then they'll basically join the meeting but again that's more of like a conference type of tool um, it's gonna be hard for you to to kind of keep it so right now because this one this gives you an app and everything so I have to like install app for users so users can install even apps and then they can send you messages from there they can, you can even directly call them on the phone then so this way there's a lot of abilities for you to do this but there was this was a quick video for people who are struggling right now this may help them uh, to do their job easily and quickly if they are using office 365